Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a wooden sign using a vinyl stencil. I've got some wooden signs. I ordered some vinyls um, from Vassar Schools, actually. They'll make them for you. Um, you're going to need some paint. I have some chalk paint that's just from Michaels and some paint brushes. And then a credit card or a ruler just to help apply pressure. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, if you don't wanna keep your wood sign that plain color, is you're gonna wanna put a coat of paint all over the front of your sign, including the edges. While that's drying, take a credit card or a ruler and you're gonna press really hard on your vinyl stencil to make sure it's completely stuck to the transfer paper. There should be no air bubbles in it. Pay special attention if there's any letters that have little spaces in between it. I'm gonna do my second one too, because I'm gonna show you one on a painted background and one on a plain wood background. Then what you're going to do is you're going to peel the solid backing off of your stencil and it should come off pretty easy and you're going to line that up where you want it to go. And you're going to use your credit card again to squish it down. And you have to press really hard because you want all of that blue paper to stick when we pull our clear spots off. might be a little bit tricky where the wood gaps, but just make sure right on the edges is pretty solid. You should see a color change when it sticks down. You'll know if it didn't peel or didn't stick right because when you go to peel the clear part on top, your stencil that is blue is coming with it. So you can see that blue staying with it. You wanna make sure you pull it really slowly. And if parts of your blue stencil are coming up, you can go back and kind of squish them down before you pull the rest of it up.
just like that. Now I see part of my flower got moved a little bit before. I can try and peel that off and move it down. If it doesn't bug you, I would kind of leave it alone. Once you have both of your stencil all the way on and you've got kind of the blue showing and it looks exactly how you want it to look, then we can start painting it. You of course can paint all of it one color and that's fine. But if you wanted some of it to be different colors, um, you can do that too. So I'm gonna start with this one. I think I'm gonna make this ring around it, kind of a, this oatmeal color. And I'm just gonna dab just like this. You don't have to cover the whole blue stencil but you do want to make sure you're covering where um, where your color is or where your cut part is. After you pull your stencil off, you can always go through and touch up different parts later too. You can use a different color paintbrush for your different colors. That's up to you, um, or they can all be the same. I've got some basic colors here. I think I'm gonna do my Hello Spring in white also. You can put two layers of color on as it's starting to dry. If it's starting to look a little spotty, you can always add another um, coat of that color. You can also mix colors together. If I wanted to um, make this red flower be uh, red with some yellow inside it and kind of let it blend, you can do that too. Once you're done painting yours with one color or multiple colors, you want to make sure they are completely dry before you start to pick off the blue stencil. So give it 10 to 15 minutes. You could also use a hair dryer or a heat gun to help encourage it to dry.
Once you're done and you've pulled off all of your blue stencil, um, you can see that some parts might need to be touched up. Some parts on the background, if you painted it back first, the sticky stuff kind of pulls off some of that paint. On this oatmeal color, it just makes it look weathered. So maybe you like that and you could distress the top and the bottom and that would be fine. Um, on this one, there might be some gaps, but you could always go in and fill in with other colors and a small paintbrush too. Hope you had fun.